What's up guys, it's GNDRZ here and we're back with another video. I have very I have something very special for you today guys. I have with me a new body for the TRX4 kit. Now the body is a packaged body. It is unassembled but I did not get time to film assembling the body. Um, here it is. It's the Extra Speed Jeep Hard plastic body kit this is for um, any crawler that has a 313 millimeter wheelbase um, the description of the body says introducing the extra speed Jeep hard plastic body comes with all accessories for you to create ultimate scale body with car seats and other internal parts body structure made a very strong thick ABS material that is robust fit for crawlers which have around one 13 millimeter wheelbase I right, guess so here's how it looks um, this body is very sturdy it does not come with a roll cage we ordered that off of eBay separately um, it comes with all the door handles um, windshield wipers uh, we got the guy separate also yeah has a little scale effect there I did that with the windshield wipers um, it comes with everything I love the grill by the way that's what the grill looks like I have added LEDs to make sure that the body is nice and neat I will go through some shots as I speak about the body so you can see how it looks um I must say build quality of the body wise is very um, professional it has all the scale um, JK body parts that the Jeep portrays um, which I find is a really nice feature the plastic is very high quality um, looking into the interior the two front doors actually open it, yes, it is functional. The doors are functional. However, I glued the one on the driver's side so that the guy doesn't fall out. Um, looking inside here, you can see that it's quite um, clean. Yeah, here, that's the dashboard. That's the guy inside. Don't mind the flooring. I'll show you that um, in just a sec. Why this is like that. It does not come like this. The back doors are not removable, they are fixed. The back door for the trunk is also not removable, so that's also fixed. Um, moving on to the, the wiring of the body. I must say that the, the wiring, here you can see, it's my little nest here. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You drill um, your holes, whether it be five millimeter or ten millimeter LED holes, and you basically wire them up. And I run them all the way up to the. I have a nine volt battery box here. Also, I have one on the inside, but you can't see it. Using I here, I have. It lights in the grill okay as you can see right there yeah um, I will show you how it looks like with the LEDs on but you will see that in a later video um, later on I will be doing some crawling with this Jeep so you'll be seeing it in action it looks very nice and scale so stay tuned for that guys um, that video will be posted soon sorry that the camera is all up in the Jeeps um, view so here it is that's the body from the front right so from the front sit from the front left nice and scale rear left all right okay guys so moving on to the truck itself this is a trx full kit as you well know from watching my videos on my channel um, if you haven't please go check it out um, 
I will show you some of the necessary cuts I had to make um, to allow the JK body to fit on my TRX4 kit. So first of all, you can already tell I have trimmed in the um, inner wells for the kit. It was too wide. It was very wide actually. Um, and that was first of all hamburg in the Jeep from even sitting on the body. Um, here you can see some other cuts also that um, I have made right some cuts right there I did have to take in on the floorboards as well yes because they were too wide um, also I made custom magnetic body mounts basically I just drilled out um, a hole through the body existing body mounting holes and I took my Dremel and shaved off the post which the little, the little round post which um takes care of the clip to retain the body so that's it on the front that's it on the rear All right also um that's another reason why you notice that the esc is up in front and the receiver box is not on the left um it's on the right up to the front and not to the back that's just to make room for the hard body to um, sit perfectly on the Jeep. And basically that's pretty much what I did um, to the Jeep. I did not have to do anything with the wheelbase because it fit just perfectly fine. Okay, so let me move on to the body now. All right. Um, I made the, some changes to the inner part. Now the flooring for the Jeep body um, was a bit too deep. Um, just to give you an average, it was about reaching here. All right, so it was from here to here. And that was um, humbugging the receiver box from getting um, a proper fitment into the truck. So I had to take my Dremel and grind out the flooring for the Jeep, right? Um, I also grinded out the center console for the Jeep. Um, it was a bit too low to allow for the cup holders and the handbrake, so I had to remove that because it was sitting directly on top of the body tray, and that was also humbugging the Jeep from sitting. Um, I did also have to remove some from the driver's side also. Um, to allow room for general fitment of the battery as well um, because it's sitting on very um, like on the center portion of the Jeep um, enough talking guys let me assemble well put on the Jeep onto the truck so you can see how it looks um, here are the magnetic body mounts right here are the mount, yeah so basically you just well i do it in this motion because um, i have the front bumper all the way in um this is to ensure that my approach angles are nice and steep right so that way. um the magnetics on this truck is very powerful i really love them um it holds the body quite sturdy and it helps a lot in the um performance of the rig so here it is guys, this is the um, the Jeep. This is what it looks like with the body on. As you can tell, it has a very nice scale look. Um, the inner wells the, um, is not the best, but it ha still shows the scale appearance. Um, you can see that for the slide, rock sliders, um, I have rotated it upside down to add to that scale Jeep um, step look for the doorstep. Yes guys, so this is the new body that I have for my TRX4 kit. I hope you like it. Um, do stay tuned guys because I'll be making a lot of crawling videos with this guy and also the Defender and I have a new project on the way guys. In other new Jeep project so stay tuned for that subscribe for more guys peace